Okay, I'm gonna go over my food stuff for my next trip, which is five days and four nights in the Smoky Mountains. Um, but first, I'm repping Indian River Volleyball. Uh, I've had several of my volleyball players go through their program and I have two currently playing there now. So I thought I would rep them today as I'm doing this video. So, I'm not a big breakfast person, um, but I do know that I need to have something. And so I saw with Hiking with Braid, she used this little Nalgene bottle. I know you're not this one, but one similar to this, it's small. Um, and it fits in um, one of the breakfast essentials, and then I'm going to put coffee in it. I'm not typically a coffee drinker, but I can handle this. And so I'm gonna do that in the mornings. And so I have four of those because I will have already eaten breakfast on the first morning before I got there. And, um, and then I have four bars. Uh, two of them are builder protein bars and two are the pure protein bars. Um, if I get hungry a little while after we get started, I can eat and hike as I go. And then for lunch, I am doing wraps. And my wraps right now, they're not very big ones, they're like a medium size, but they're in the freezer right now because <clears throat> I bought them for my November hiking trip and I didn't use them all, so I put them in my freezer so that I could use them for this trip. So I'm gonna use wraps. And for three days, I'm going to uh, use Tuna Creations. I really like the herb and garlic one, but I also have um, the lemon pepper and then just plain tuna. And what I normally do is I open those up and then I put one pickle relish and one mustard in there, mix it all up and then dump it onto my wrap. And uh, that is good enough for me. And then <clears throat> two of the days I'm going to do peanut butter and um, honey. And I'm gonna squeeze that onto my wrap, squeeze the honey onto the wrap, wrap it up and eat it. So those are my lunches. And then for dinner, I'm trying this for the first time. I'm kind of excited. Well, this one right here is a mountain house meal, but I just went ahead and put it in a Ziploc baggie. In the freezer bags, you can put boiling water in them and it doesn't do anything to the food. So um, I just add a cup and three quarters and this turns into pepper steak. So that's one meal. And then I am doing a Norse rice cheddar broccoli and I'm going to be adding premium chicken to that. And so that's gonna be a second meal. I think I probably need to get a smaller package because this one compared to this one is huge and I don't think I need this much chicken. So I'm gonna probably replace this with another great value premium chicken. But um, then I took um, stuffing and I split it because there's no way that I can eat a full box of stuffing. So I split those in two and then I'll put chicken in each one of those. And then I have a little bit of gravy <clears throat> that I can add to that. But then I also thought it might be good to add some bacon bits and those dry onion crunchy things that people usually use with their green bean casserole. I thought I'd put that in there for a little bit of crunch. And so those are gonna be my four dinners. So my pepper steak, my um, cheddar broccoli, rice, and chicken, and then my two things of stuffing. So those are my dinners. So that's all of that. And then for drinks, I also have some salt packets right here. But for my drinks, I'm not a big like plain water person. So um, I have the liquid IV. I have four packets of that, um, two of them, Actually, three of them are the hydrator multiplier, and one is the energy multiplier. And, oh, actually, I have two of those. So one of these will go into one of my smart water bottles at a time. And then I have these Celsius packets, which I absolutely love. And this one is cranberry lemon. And um, I have four of those. And then if I get tired of that, because sometimes I do, um, I found these really cool crystallized lime packets and they're only like 0.07 ounces. So I'm bringing a couple of those and I thought I could just put that into the water 
can shake it up without anything else and just have some refreshing lime water. So that is that, and that will be put into a Ziploc baggie here. And then next I'm gonna talk about my snacks. Uh, I might have to curl those, curtail those down a little bit, but um, that's what I have. I also have some hot apple cider, three packets of that, and one of hot chocolate. Um, I may only bring half of these, but um, they are something that I'm pondering at the moment. So on to the snack. I'm curious to see what the difference was between these two meat packets, and it's huge. So this one is 7.83 ounces. And this one here is 2.79, huge difference. So I'm gonna be heading to Walmart today to buy another packet of the smaller. Okay, here are my snacks. I really feel like I'm overboard on this, <clears throat> but I'm just not sure. A lot of it doesn't have a lot of calories in it, but um, it might just give me a boost. So I just ordered these Verb energy bars. They're not very big. They're about the length of my index finger, but and they're only 90 calories, but they're supposed to be, um, have a lot of caffeine in them. So if I need a burst of energy, I have a couple different flavors, salted peanut butter, uh, vanilla latte, lemon raspberry, which was uh, some samples that they gave me, and then the cookie butter, which is the order that I ordered. So I've got four of those. Then I have the sport jelly beans, and honestly, I just really like jelly beans, but I figured if I got the sport ones, then I could justify eating candy more. But there's a, they're all quick energy, um, assorted flavors, and then fruit punch. And then I found these Welch's fruit and yogurt that are pretty good. They're only 80 calories, and there's not a lot in them. So, um, you know, that might be something that I want. And I fell in love with these Honey Stinger waffles, so I have two of those. Um, and then I've got a thing of energy block. I only have one of these. I don't think I'm going to need more with all this stuff I have right now. And then I put in uh, another um, uh, cliff builders. <clears throat> and then I found these little things that all these, I just combined it all, but it's got like cranberries and nuts in it and uh, sunflower. So I just put them in bags. There's not a lot in each one. These are really small baggies. Um, and so, uh, and of course, I'm gonna be out there with three other people, so I can always share. <clears throat> and then these fruit flavored snacks, I like gummy bears, except they are um, organic. And I get these at Aldi's and it's called Simply Nature. They are the bomb.com, and that's a throwback statement, but you know, I'm almost 60, so uh, I can do those things, and that's okay. I always tell my students, I can be dorky, and I can be weird, I'm 60 almost, and uh, and, I'm, and that's okay. That gives us the green light to be like that, so I have the green light. And then, um, I wasn't going to bring trail mix, uh, but uh, and I probably won't eat it when I'm hiking, but I might eat it at night. And so I put like maybe like three quarters of a cup in here and then I added some cranberries for two packages. My brother really like, likes these and he's gonna be hiking with me and last year um, he poached off me a little bit. So this, is, uh, this will help him out if I don't eat it. And then my uh, guilty pleasure is I have those pitter patter or nutter butters and little miniature Oreo cookies that I thought maybe I could indulge with. Uh, at dessert time after dinner. So there, and then um, haven't decided, uh, I'm gonna bring, I have a ton of these, my players got them for me. And so I'm gonna bring them with me. I have a, a baggie, a grocery baggie full of probably over 20 easy. And uh, so I'm gonna share those with my niece, her friend, my brother. Uh, but I might put two in my snack bag. Uh, I usually don't eat a full one at one time. I just kind of break it in half and then uh, save another part for later. But those are my snacks. I kind of feel like I have more snack food than I have regular food, but uh, I may go back over it and delete something uh, between now and when we start our hike. So there you go, that's all my food. And then I'll put my snacks in this bag right here. And then all my other food is gonna go in this odor-free bag. 
Um, this might be a little bit overkill, I'm not sure. And then I'm putting it in this new bag. It's a Dyneema bag. It's, you probably didn't hear it because of the zipper, but it's a Dyneema bag and it's got a flat bottom. And so it should be able to stand up. It's a little bit different bag than I had last time. So I'm excited to give it a shot and see um, how it works, but it's ultra light sacks. Um, I got it off of Etsy. Um, and then I'm super excited about putting some of my stickers on my little Nalgene bottle because I have them and they have no place to go. So I'll also put, I have some reflective tape and I like putting a couple pieces of it on the bottom of my bag that I hang so that it's easy to see at night and it distinguishes mine a little bit from somebody else's. So there you go. I'll show you it when it's all packed up. Just my snack bag and it alone is 2.8 pounds. So I don't know, I may have to cut this one down a little bit. We'll see, I'm only gonna bring one Gatorade uh, whey protein bar, but that's my snacks and this okay. weight. So this is everything that I'm bringing for food, minus the one chicken packet and the tortillas that I need for lunch. And it fits in this bag. There's a little zipper up here, which I don't normally see, but then, you can roll top it. Put this over. And then I have a, another scale. I forgot to say that I'm gonna put um, two extra Ziploc baggies in there. They are the freezer bags. Um, one is gonna be for the garbage because with Leave No Trace and doing the right thing, you always pack out your garbage and your leftover wrappers. So um, I'll be using these and I'll put those inside the food bag as well. So just wanted to let you know that in case you are new to backpacking. I am still very new. I've only been on, um, this will be my fourth backpacking trip. I've only done one solo. Um, and uh, so this is my third one. And my big one is gonna be in 2024 when I retire and uh, make the attempt to do the through hike of the Appalachian Trail. So this is all me getting prepped for okay, that. Okay, so I picked up my stickers. My first one is going to be the AT because uh, that has been a lifelong dream of mine that I thought was going to be cut short when my weight got up to about 243 pounds. Yikes, right? But um, I'm not there anymore, thank goodness. And uh, so that's my first sticker. Second sticker is going to be the Florida Trail um, because uh, I'm excited that we have a through hike here in Florida. I have not done it yet, but I've done uh, a handful of miles on it. There's a part of it that's pretty close to where I live. And then um, I've done some that has also been in uh, by the Ocala area, so. That's my FT sticker for the Florida Trail. And then I can't go without putting an REI sticker on there because when I first started getting interested in hiking, backpacking specifically, I went to REI and there was a um, nice uh, employee there. He, um, he had a lot of experience backpacking and I bet you he spent two hours with me just walking around showing me all the different things that I needed to consider and equipment and um, plus they have an unbelievable return policy that um, I've had to take advantage of um, and every time I go in there I just get a plethora of help so uh, don't want to leave them out so that's my REI sticker um, and then I hope I can fit this on here. I didn't do this very well. Maybe I can take this one off and replace it down a little bit lower. Or maybe I should put him higher. No, I'm gonna put him lower. There we go. Perfect. All right, so he's right there. And then I wanna put Cedar River Outdoors because that is the company that made my quilt and I really like it and it has been uh, not that I've used it a ton but um, 
it's going to keep me warm when I go on my hike. And it kept me warm the last time. So, And then my last one, um, I was going to put this one on, but I'm going to wait because I think I have a Smoky Mountain one. This is from the Rocky Mountains. But I know that I have a Smoky Mountain sticker, and that's the one I really want to put on here because that is really the only place that I've backpacked. And I think I need to pay tribute to the Smoky Mountains. So, yeah. Sorry, I thought I had that one, but it was from the Rocky Mountains. Okay, here are my other stickers. I adjusted the REI a little bit. I'm going to, and I cut off the bottom of this sticker because this is where it's all going to begin when I start my AT. And it is at Anacola Falls. So I'm going to put that right here and then part of it is going to be played over with my great smoky mountain sticker so that is going to go right here so there is a little bit of an overlap but hey i think that's okay so there it is i finally have my little stickers someplace to go